Hey guys, welcome to the second part of this video where we're going to learn the factoring and reducing method. So the first way we learn how to divide polynomials is by long division. And just to kind of emphasize that long division is not different from just factoring, right? Um, factoring is the opposite of distribution. So distribution is when we're multiplying and factoring is when we're dividing. So when we're factoring, we're essentially dividing. So dividing polynomials is kind of like factoring, but in a different way. And the way that it's showing you is that, hey, you're given the trinomial and they want you to factor it, but they already gave you a free factor. So they're essentially asking like, hey, here's a trinomial, here's a factor, what's the other factor? And so that's what you're solving for and that's what you're looking for. So the other way is called the factor slash reduce method or the factoring slash reducing method. So that's going to indicate that we're going to factor and then end up simplifying or reducing. So you want to start off by writing your problem, but we're going to write it in a different way. So instead of um, using a house and everything, a division house, we're going to set it up as x squared plus 4x minus 5 divided by x plus 5. So it's kind of like the when we divide and um, kind of like how like 1 divided by 2 is the same thing as 1 over 2. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is factor. Well, you're going to want to factor the trinomial up at the top. So let's go ahead and factor that. So we have x squared plus 4x minus 5. The first thing you check for when you factor is for a GCF, and we don't have one here other than 1. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start my AC method. So my A times C, so 1 times negative 5 would be negative 5. And then my B value is going to be 4, and that goes at the bottom. So I'm looking for factors of negative 5 that, multi or that multiply to negative 5 but add to 4. So that's going to be positive 5 and negative 1, right? Positive 5 plus negative 1 gives me 4, and 5 times negative 1 gives me negative 5. So when I'm factoring, the first and last terms always stay the same. The whole point of us doing the AC method is to get this to four terms. So I'm going to go ahead and write this out as four terms now. And it doesn't matter if your negative 1 comes first or your 5 comes first. Okay, so negative 1x is the same thing as just negative x. So from here, you're going to do your factor by grouping because now you have four terms. So you're going to find the GCF. Oops, I forgot my x on this one. You're going to find the GCF of the first two terms. So my GCF here is x, and that goes on the outside of your parentheses. And you have x plus 5 remaining after you simplify. And then you're going to find the GCF of the next two terms, and that's going to be negative 1 because that's the most you can factor out. Remember, if that first term in the group is negative, you want to factor out a negative. So minus 1. And then you have positive x plus 5. So at this point, you would check to make sure that your parentheses match each other, which they do. So one of our factors is x minus 1, and the other one is x plus 5. Okay, well, how can I check this? Well, I could double distribute this, and then it would equal this up here. So those two are equivalent to each other, right? These are exactly the same to each other. So let's go ahead and replace that inside of our fraction. So let's get rid of this and rewrite it as x minus 1 times x plus 5 over x plus 5. So again, I'm writing from here to here, and all I'm doing is replacing my trinomial with its two factors. So now, after we factored, the next thing we do is reduce. So let's talk about what this could mean. If I have 3 times x divided by x, could I simplify this? Yes, right, because x divided by x is 1. So these would cancel, and I would just have 3 times 1, which is just 3. So if you have something on the numerator that is the same as something in the denominator, it will cancel out. So here, because I have x plus 5 in the numerator and x plus 5 in the denominator, those will cancel each other out. And my remaining thing that I have left after I've canceled and reduced is x minus 1. Well, isn't that what I got the very first time I did the long division? Yes, it is. They're the same thing. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. And sometimes people think that the factor and reducing method is the easier way um, because they're used to factoring, and that's fine. I wouldn't necessarily call it the shorter way just because it depends on your definition of short, right? From my definition, I would think long division is a little bit shorter. Um, but again, some people like the factoring and reducing method. So you do need to know how to do both methods. All right, so number two, we did long division already. So let's go ahead and do the... Um, factor and reduce method. So I want to go ahead and set it up. So 7m squared minus 60m plus 32 divided by m minus 8. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and 
factor that trinomial in the numerator, so 7m squared minus 60m plus 32. The first thing I do is I always check for a GCF, but I don't have one in this case, so I'm going to go ahead and start AC method. So AC method, do A times C, so that would be 7 times 32, and that's going to give me 224. And I want it to add to negative 60, my two factors. Um, you're, this would be a good time to use that calculator trick to find those two factors. And so those two factors would be 56 and 4, but you need negative 56 and negative 4. Negative 56 times negative 4 gives me positive 224. And negative 56 plus negative 4 gives me negative 60, so that works out. Remember, the whole point of doing the AC method is to make it four terms. Okay, oh. okay now we can factor by grouping. And again, it doesn't matter if your 4 or your 56 come first. Okay, we're going to find the GCF of the first two terms, which is 7m. So that's going to go on the outside of my parentheses. So then my remaining would be m minus 8. My GCF for the next two would be negative 4 because my second or my first term in the group is negative. So I'd take out a negative number. And then m minus 8. So then you would check to make sure your parentheses match each other. And they do. So our, one of our factors is 7m minus 4, and the other factor is m minus 8. Okay, but don't forget that this was our original expression. So that would be that it's that over m minus 8, right? So we re we're rewriting it. Then you look for your factors that are similar, and you're going to reduce. So here we would reduce and cross these out. So our remaining factor, our remaining um, expression would just be 7m minus 4, which is the same thing we got the first time that we did the long division. So again, wouldn't necessarily call it the shorter way, but it is the more comfortable way because we are used to um, factoring, right? It's not just called the factoring method, it's the factor and reduce. So make sure you're actually reducing at the end. You don't want to factor and then, you know, you don't want to boxes of your answer because that's not your answer. Um, but that is the other method. If you have any questions, please feel free to come in for tutoring.